Can you actually put this one in the bathroom just for, mm -hmm. for now? Yeah. Okay. All right, let me just tell you her head. Uh -huh. Hold off that way. This is probably birth trauma. It's mm -hmm. coming like uh, left shoulder. Uh huh. So just like with everybody, we're just going to, so she's going to look a little strange. Oh. Dixie, come here. Is this girl or boy? Girl. Okay. If she futzes, don't worry about it. Oh, I... Okay. They're very... No, Dixie, stay. I know, I know. Good girl, good girl. You stay. I know. Okay, and her shoulder blade right there is stuck. Okay. So we're just going to hold her until that releases. And there she softens. Good. The cool part about puppies is that they're so... They're so easy. Okay, this is like Atlas. Mm -hmm. um, they're so easy because just like any infant, they're not old enough to have a bunch of restrictions. She's very malleable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was actually easy. Okay, come here, give me some Do me a favor and let me know if you get any good vibes on their names. Doggy. <laughs> well, right now it's brother and Sorry. sister. That's pretty cute. This, right here, this whole energy across her head, so much better. That's, I mean, like, all of this, this her head moves, all the, the bones in her head move really nice, a little bit on her nose. Come here, sweetheart. Right Down there. Oh, there you go. Right there. There you go. That was just bridge of the nose was like jammed, like you know how if she walked into something really hard across right there, it yep. was just jammed. I she walked across the the bar the tables, <laughs> the table legs. She and her brother decided to wrestle next to them last night. How? And he, she he threw his head, head into the top, and then yeah. she bumped her nose onto the side, and I'm like, that's it, going to bed. <laughs> You've had enough playtime. Okay, small small pelvic rotation. Right there. No, not quite. Sorry. Sorry, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. Good, this actually good goes sister. right into her sacrum. Oh. And it's like, oh, we're going to hold you more. We're going to hold you more. We're just rotating her more. There we go. Nice. That was good. That was so good. That was so good. Yes. She seems to be enjoying it. That's the cool part is that, you know, like with babies, they just kind of, they become mellower and mellower and just... Kind of, if they could all purr, they would purr. Oh, Just yeah. Check this. Okay, check your little tail. What's that? Yeah. Okay. All right, hang on. We're just gonna, it's like just an extension on her spine. And all I'm doing is just pulling it a little bit because she's got a little kink. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. We're just elongating her spine. There. There. That's so good. That's so good. They are so. I know. Even Scott said they were picture perfect when he pulled up last night. Like, got out of his car. Those are picture perfect puppies. That was so sweet. And I'm just like, he's all, are they yours? <laughs> it's like, yeah, we have five more in the house. <laughs> no, I know. I'm like, they're my mom's. I'm babysitting for a couple of weeks. They're my, I'm babysitting them for a couple of weeks, and then I told them they're my mom's. Yeah. Okay. That shoulder looks much better. What I'd like to do is check them one more time before you take them to okay. the ranch. I would appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you still got jammed here. Okay, hang on, sweetheart. She's the, um, she goes straight out and goes into the bushes to do her business. Okay. She's very good. She he, gets her privacy. Yes. He, he likes the concrete. This morning was his first morning. He made it into the bushes for both. Oh, sweet. But I also, instead of directly putting them on the concrete first, yeah. I put them right into the path to go. And then he went right away because I knew he was going to go right away. So I figured if I got him there, <laughs> it helps. It's so interesting. I mean, these guys are younger than the standard poodle puppies that I've been working with. Mm -hmm. uh, uh oh, battery's flashing. Okay, well, we're almost done with her, okay. so we're just taking of her. That's okay. Just run it till it stops. Okay. Um, what's interesting is how much more weight these guys have than the little poodle puppies. Oh, I know. Stay, stay, stay. Even though they're younger. They're just a heavier frame. Which is right there, right there, right there. There you go. Right there. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Almost, 
You almost got it. You almost got it. I know. There. That was good. That was good. Look at. Get a good picture. Is that cute or what? <laughs> I so think. So cute. Let me check her one more time. I think she's good. She. This uh, is so much better. She couldn't do the stairs the first couple of times, yeah. but Dixie, she followed Dixie up the stairs, and she can. She did the full stairs last night coming up. The boy actually did, finally did the first set of stairs coming up this night. I thought about Luna for her. Yeah. Or, um. That's Jackie. That's Jackie. He's a good girl. Oh, hi, sweet. Hi, sweet girl. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you got torqued, didn't you? You got torqued. Okay, she made putts more because you're here also, mm -hmm. your mom. Okay. She got right here behind ear. Oh, this side here. It's good girl, Dixie. Good girl. So brave. She's been so great, and I just I felt the her puppies. with the puppies. And as soon as they like do, they start not chewing on her and hanging on each side. Then she yelps, yeah. and they let go, and they're very good, good about that. Good, and she's you know because she is more girly, mm -hmm. she's more likely to do that, which is really good because that'll teach them. As I told her, tell them when they hurt you. Tell them when they're getting too, doing too much to you. Yeah, exactly. But when I felt her this morning, I just was like, oh, and I couldn't do anything. I just had them in my arms, and I ran down the stairs, opened the door, and like tried to get to her, and she ran off, and she had to go business, and then she finally would relent when I put the puppies down. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Thank you. She's trying to help. Sister, 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 come here, sister. Other than the fall, has her back been bothering her at all? I think so. Okay, she's her back is really hunched over. I mean, really hunched over. I'm I'm at the point where I take when I'm taking them in yeah. to get their puppy shots. Yeah. I'm going to make an appointment for the vet to listen to her lungs. Okay. Her breathing has been bothering me. You may want to um, have Blout come take a look at her. Blau is um, a chiropractor, a retired chiropractor who works on dogs now. She works on, he works on my dogs and also works on Leslie's dogs. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. I did that for Eso and it really made a difference for her. He does, he does less adjusting as he does, he calls it mobilization, which is really what he's doing. It's really gentle. There you go. I know. I know. You're just Look, getting so relaxed. On the cat, they did pressure Wait, points and then they used the little punchy girl. thing. <laughs> It's less invasive. He doesn't use the activator. Oh, okay. It's wonderful. You are such a good girl. That was a nice relax. Her whole body just melted. I was like, oh my gosh. I saw that. Hi. You can tell when she goes relaxed. 